Hi everyone, Angus from Zipgrow here. Uh, we just set up a brand new farm wall in our new kitchen, and so I thought I'd take the opportunity to walk you through how we do that. Let's jump right in. So here's a list of all the things that you'll get in your farm wall package. So starting off, you have your bulkhead, you have your bottom gutter, you have your towers, your end caps, your pump, 400 gallon per hour if it's two or four tower, and a 530 gallon per hour if it's eight tower. Half inch tubing, and you've got two lights, along with light hangers and valances to attach them to. And wall channels. Now you need some tools to assemble your farm wall. First, you'll need a tape measure, and a level, and a drill or impact driver with appropriate bits, and a stud finder. First thing to do is to pick a spot on the wall. I measure the total distance uh, from top to bottom. I subtract the 62 inches I need as a span for the upper to the lower gutters, and, uh, and I split the rest of the distance half above, half below. Uh, once I locate a stud, I can uh, fix my wall bracket to the wall and then proceed to level it and get in the second and third uh, screw if necessary. Once you've got one bracket uh, fixed securely onto the wall, I measure 62 inches down from where the screws are and I attach the second one uh, 62 inches level down below so that we end up with 62 inches between our, our upper bulkhead and our lower gutter. Once your brackets are firmly secured to the wall, uh, then you can attach your gutter and your bulkhead. The S-clips on the back just lock over the top of the wall bracket assembly. Once you have your gutter uh, mounted onto the wall bracket, then you space out your wedges that help keep the towers off the bottom of the gutter. Uh, for a two or a four tower farm wall, you will have two wedges that come with it. For an eight tower, you get four wedges. Make sure that they're spaced out to cover at least half of each of the holes that a tower is going to rest in. Next, you want to attach your water supply line up to the elbow in the bulkhead at the top of the manifold. Uh, some people use a little bit of dish detergent or heat gun to make this task easier. Once you're finished attaching the water secure line, then go ahead and attach the two end caps onto your bulkhead at the top. Once your water supply line is securely attached to the top bulkhead, uh, you can stretch it out and cut it to length so as to eliminate any extra. The pump comes with three different size fittings for three different types of line. Uh, make sure you, you choose the one that fits on the half inch line snugly. Once you've got it selected, thread it into the pump, attach the hose onto it, and make sure that the pump is opened at the bottom. At this point, I like to get the towers out of the way by putting them into the farm wall. Now that the farm wall itself is installed, we can, uh, we can work on getting the lights up. In the hardware bag, you'll find four pan head screws, and in the boxes of LED lights, you will find, um, you will find in each two brackets to mount the lights. The valances, the white plastic support structure for the lights, uh, comes pre-drilled with two holes at the top for bolts, and two smaller holes midway down centered uh, to hold the light brackets. You want to use the pan head screws along with the brackets that come in the light boxes to mount them securely onto the valances. Once you've got the light brackets mounted on the valances, then you can go ahead and use the nuts and you can use the bolts and nuts and washers to attach the valance to the light bracket itself. The light bracket itself comes in two pieces with one slotted and one threaded hole so that you can uh, fasten the two together and adjust the distance to the farm wall. When mounting your lights on the valances, make sure that they alternate in direction. So next, we want to uh, prepare the valances for receiving the lights and the brackets. One side is the input and one side is the output, um, which is very important as far as daisy chaining them together. If you have them oriented the wrong way, you won't be able to plug your second light in. Once your light kit is fully assembled, you can drop the rear portion of the light bracket through the slots in the wall bracket that supports the upper bulkhead. Thanks for watching everyone! That's how to build a farm wall! Now you're ready to start growing your own greens! 
Uh, make sure to leave comments down below or questions, subscribe, and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Catch you next time.